All right. Look. I already know why y'all are here for this one. Y'all just want to know if there's more feet in this episode. <clears throat> Fine. Let's talk about it, shall we? <laughs> Episode 2 kind of just picks up following the events of the first episode. You have Masachika going to help out Suo as a favor for the student council, and Alia just so happens to be there as well. And as per usual, more jealous shenanigans, Alia throwing herself at Masachika, and pouting Alia ensues. Hooray! After they wrap up cleaning up the utility closet, Masachika is invited out to dinner by the student council president, and the rest of the student council follows. It's here that Masachika finds out that both Suo and Alia intend on running for student council president next year, and pressure for Masachika to join the student council mounts. Masachika then walks Alia home before heading home himself, where he's greeted by none other than Suo herself. And it's here that we're treated to the knowledge that the front that they put on at school is nothing but a facade, and they're actually siblings. But are they blood siblings? Or step siblings? I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Actually? Who am I kidding? It's anime. It's not like it matters anyway. Especially when she wakes up her brother by climbing on top of him and asking him if he's going to school. Yeah, going to school. Let's, let's go with that one. Anywho, with it being a weekend, the siblings decide to go into town, watch a movie, maybe even go clothes shopping while they're out. Oh, hey, there's Alia hiding behind a pole. Didn't see her there. Actually, they spotted her like five minutes ago, and they decide to drag her to a restaurant and make her eat really spicy ramen. Because, you know, why not? Although, I will say, after watching this, I really want to go eat some of that spicy ramen. After that, Alia asks Masachika to accompany her clothes shopping, where we get a compilation of Alia trying on a plethora of different outfits in an attempt to get praise and elicit a reaction out of Masachika. That is, until she puts on a slightly too revealing outfit and steps out to see Suo there as well. And then she gets really embarrassed and exclaims in Russian that she'd just like to disappear. Which, I mean, I have that same feeling at least 15 times a day. Because, you know, anxiety is fun. We also get a really cute scene of Masachika and Alia going to get some ice cream together after the ramen shop. And it's actually really adorable and wholesome. And that pretty much sums up this week's episode of Alia Sometimes Hides Her Failings in Russian. Overall, the show continues to move along in a great direction. Obviously, Dogakobo continues to present quality animation. The soundtrack and OP and ED still haven't taken me out of the show by any means. And I like the budding relationship between Alia and Masachika. Although, I could definitely do without all the sister stuff. I saw that trope coming from a mile away, and it's overdone. Seriously. Cut it out. There's even a show this season called Days with My Stepsister. I haven't even seen that one yet, and yet I can already assume what the f is going on there. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Blue and I really appreciate it. As always, if you enjoy this style of video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, do tell us down in the comments below if you're going to be watching this anime this summer season, and do be sure to let us know if you like the style of video from us. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Buh bye bye